What up, where's your boy, Sporty Black, checking in again. And man, I got to talk about this Hurricane Chris and 50 Cent situation. As you know, 50 Cent done bought a lot of land down in Shreveport, Louisiana, to build his state-of-the-art um, production studio that's going to bring in a lot of jobs and opportunity for the people of Shre Shreveport, Louisiana. So leading up to that, you know, 50 Cent is known for hosting you know, magnificent events such as Tycoon Weekend and other events. So this past weekend, he did the Humor and Harmony Festival down in Shreveport, and it was a major success. The uh, council people, as well as the business owners, they all, you know, showed support and had a lot of positive things to say about the event, how much money it brought to the area and the fact that it was a, a success because it was no violence. You know, it was nothing happened other than people having a good time. So it was several people in attendance. A lot of celebrities came out, um, but it was one celebrity that was left out, which was Hurricane Chris, a Shreveport native, you know, a rapper from back in the day. He got a hit song called A Bay Bay, A Bay Bay. Hey, baby. So at that event, when uh, fit, um, Master P, a New Orleans, Louisiana legend came out, he actually brought Baby, the DJ, you know, so the song Hey, baby was actually about the DJ. So when Master P brought out Baby, it kind of crossed my mind like, damn, it'd be dope for Baby to bring out Hurricane Chris. You see what I'm saying? Or at least play that song, you know. So that's when Hurricane Chris crossed my mind when I heard when I seen Bebe come out there, right? But anyway, after the fact, Hurricane Chris, you know, he jumped on social media, went live, and had a lot of grievances about the fact that Fifty Cent did not um, include no Louisiana legends. He ain't do nothing for the city. He a culture vulture. I'm pretty sure by now you done heard his long rant, right? And I feel like he was loud and he was wrong because, first of all, Master P is from Louisiana. He's a legend. Then uh, also Fredo, Fredo Bang, he's from Baton Rouge. He was there. Then also, when I did more research, a lot of the local rappers, they was there because they had events and things of that nature, like Indie Artist Showcase. So it was a lot of people, a lot of local rappers was able to, you know, not only just network, but it was able to grace the stage, you know. So that's the opportunity that Hurricane Chris missed, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he really did enough research, right? I think he just seen it. And he was upset that he wasn't invited. He didn't get booked because even in his rant, he said, man, you ain't put no bank roll in no Louisiana legend pocket. But he did. He put one in Master P pocket. He put a bank roll in Fredo Bain pocket. And then the uh, up and coming artists, they looked at it from an opportunity perspective. They was able to rub shoulders and shake hands with people that they would would never had the opportunity to do so, right? So when people come to your city and they bring stuff to your city, don't feel entitled. What you got to do, you got to just network yourself, right? And, um, you know, he was going on and on, talking about 50 cents, spent a half a million dollars on the police. Yeah, to make sure you guys ain't trying to kill each other. You know what I'm saying? Because if he throw an event and then it's a bunch of violence and shooting and killing, them white folks ain't finna let them throw shit out. So he want to make sure that's um, a successful, non-violent event. So salute the 50 Cent. Then he was saying 50 Cent ain't doing nothing for the community. He ain't doing nothing for the um, for the people and of uh, Shreveport and so forth and so on. But that is totally not true because 50 Cent does and did the same shit down in Houston, Texas when he became an honorary member of texas or honorary re residence he was down there working with the school system setting up grants and um and tuitions for the youth for the education purposes you know he was opening up jobs same thing he's doing down in shreveport so it's a lot of stuff that he's doing that ain't really came all the way to fruition yet and i think hurricane chris was premature with his rant and it and it really just cut 
him off for any future endeavors, any future opportunities that he could might have had. You know, instead of going on that rant like that, bro, go on, go on there and speak positive. Even if you want that, bro, you're going to get more. You're going to get more done from speaking positive. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to, to, to catch what they say, catch a fly with honey than it is with vinegar, whatever, however the analogy goes. But he just went about it all wrong, man. So I'm sporting black. I'm speaking on it. If you're new to the channel, I want you to sub. But also, I just want you to jump in the comment section. Let me know, have you heard about the, you know, Hurricane Chris rant? And how do y'all think? What's y'all opinion about this situation? Um, is Hurricane Chris right? That 50 Cent just on some culture vulture shit? Or is Hurricane Chris just loud and wrong? Anyway, I digress. I'm gone. Signing off. I'm out.